Seven minutes before the top of the hour on Morning Barbados, back here in our studios in the Pine. Well, the theme of this year's BMEX 2011 is innovation through inspiration. What could be more inspiring than a competition to pit your creative talents one against the other? And the woman who has conceptualized this fashion competition, it's called Style Barbados Designers Challenge, it's going to be part of the fashion segment of BMEX 2011, is Catherine Rochford. Catherine, good morning and Hi, welcome good to the morning. program. Thank you. That, that's an interesting way of getting people to really ramp up um, their talents and, and show off what they're doing because it, it's all about showing off unknown talent isn't it yes it is and to bring those people who um, the names who are not popular your everyday names um, like our previous designers the Antonio Cumberbatches the Pat Brathwits the Pauline Bellamy's you know this is a new crop of designers that are coming up now that we're trying to showcase so for the past two months, you've been the, the submissions have been open. Yes. So this is kind of like a culmination. Walk me through how it works. I mean, put me into the mind of a competitor right now. Okay. The designers appear on stage, and they're given a model who has been pre-selected by them with a number. They have 45 minutes when the designers hand over their shopping bag to look into the bag, see what is there. They're given a challenge. They have 45 minutes to create a garment without any sewing machine. Wow. Yeah. No sewing machine? No sewing machine just with everything that's in the bag. And, and what would the background of the competitors have been? Is it literally a case of, I feel I can be a designer, so I walk in off the street, or was there criteria for selection? Um, most of the designers have to be able to sew, obviously. Yeah. Um, but sewing, not being part of it, um, the sewing has a construction <clears throat> element to it. So being able to sew and construct a garment is very, very crucial, because obviously that would mean you have to cut. Um, they also need to have been educated up to some point in um, garment design or something like that, even if they did it in uh, secondary school. So we're coming down the home stretch. The competitors yes. are nervous. I oh, would imagine. There. And, I, and I haven't helped by telling them, oh, you're, gonna, you're not going to believe these challenges that you're going to get this weekend. Are we looking at a little bit of America's Next Top Model here? I mean, challenges you wouldn't believe and then people who still manage to surpass them. Are you really setting the bar that high? Yeah. Yes, I am. The, the whole um, rationale behind the competition is for the designers to be very spontaneous. Mm -hmm. You don't, sometimes when, as a designer myself, when I work, sometimes a piece gets um, overworked. So the whole um, concept behind the designs is to, when I give you the challenge, you see what's there, it's what comes first, which is usually your instinct and it's always the best design. Well, in the event that we have someone floating in from Venus who's never watched the program before, who is Catherine Rocha? Who, what gives her the right to set these challenges for me, the unknown designer? Um, well, I've been involved in fashion and design since I was about 12 years old. I'm a textile designer by trade. I've done fashion. I've had fashion shows. Um, I've worked in New York with a design company. And I'm a general. I, I like to tell people I am a designer. That's what I was born to do. It shows. It definitely <laughs> shows. You. You're, you're wearing all of your great creations. You're not, you're not actually exhibiting this no, year, I'm are not. you? No, I'm running my competition, which is three days, mm -hmm. every day from 2 to 5 at BMAX. So um, we're, we're telling the audience, you know, come on down and see what the designers um, can pull out. And we actually brought some, I actually brought some pictures from the competition last year. So you can actually see that 45 minutes, you can produce something that's absolutely incredible. We're going we're, we're to get um, <laughs> our backstage crew to pull up those pictures shortly. But, but while we're talking about the competition itself, mm -hmm. um, where is it located in BMX? Because I can't get my head around a bag, a model, a design, no sewing machine. Can't okay. manage it. You can't. Okay. No, I can't. Well, what we're going to do is at two o'clock, the models are going to and models and the designers are going to come on stage in the fashion pavilion. Okay. And we have the models hand over to their designers the bag. They look in the bag. They show the audience what they've got. Then they're given the challenge, so the audience is aware of the challenge. So that when the designers go away and they come back in about fifty minutes or so, and the audience gets to see what they've done, they're like, "Oh, wow." I Which think is it, what we, we had some wow factors last year. We can tell from some of the <laughs> pictures that we're going to show, but um, the audience is not left out. No, they're not. No, they're not. Um, we're running a competition for the audience where you get to come. If, if you attend two out of the three shows, you have to name the challenge. Okay. And you get your ticket stamped between two and five. This is Shannon. And Shannon, um, this is the black challenge, which was a Sunday challenge. We gave three challenges last year, just to, to, to digress okay. here. Okay. On Saturday, the designers were given all white fabric with different color trims, okay. and they had to create a day look or a garden party dress. On Sunday, they were given two black fabrics, and they had to create an evening look. This is and the day on look? Monday, this is Monday's challenge, which was all contrast. They were given two fabrics, and you had to um, do the most effective use of contrast. 
You've convinced me now that it's possible because at least the dress on the left, I would, I, you know, that sounds like it could go from catwalk to, to high street, uh, <laughs> yeah. really. I mean, yes, it's, it's gorgeous. The yellow and the pink, she really used the colors effectively. Sounds that way to me. And uh -huh. um, just in our final few seconds, and this what is we Jillian here? here. Jillian was our winner. And this is also from the All Contrast Challenge on Monday. Well, folks, as you can see, it can be done. Um, mm -hmm. And if you want to find out how it is ex uh, executed, you need to go to the Fashion Pavilion all mm -hmm. three days from yes. 2 until 5. Yes. There's name two challenges for the audience. Name Drop the, the thing in the box right. and you are eligible for a prize. And this is the Style Barbados Designers Challenge yes. run by the experienced Born to Design designer, <laughs> Catherine Rochford. You. As you know, Raj Paul is back. Kingsley Thorne is back. Cassandra Motley. I heard something about uh, uh, rally fashions. You know, that would pique my interest. But uh, that's what's going on in the Fashion Pavilion with the Style Barbados Designers Challenge. We are going to take a very short break. In fact, maybe we won't. We'll find out what's happening with the nice tip. We're going all over, all the way over to the Lloyd Eskin Sandiford Center. Colin got our nice tip. Then we have news, sports, and weather. Uh, all right, of course, the nice tip is going to come closer to the news, but to all the fans of the NBA, the sports is coming up. Oh, my goodness, all of those of you who are supporting the Heat... You're probably feeling a little chilly right now. Mavericks on top. Heat would have to win two straight games. Well, they do have the championship material in LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, but it's going to be tough against that man, Dirk Nowitzki. But yeah, it's time for our nice tip of today. And our nice tip is on the, the top, the, the heading of handling objections by customers. Take note of recurring objections from customers. It may be necessary for your organization to make a change. Remember, there is always room for improvement. So handling objections by customers, take note of recurring objections from customers. It may be necessary for your organization to make a change. Remember, there is always room for improvement.